live again hello um thank you for joining me i promise not to waffle on for beyond half an hour tonight although we'll see how we go talking about one of my favorite subjects which is stationery um many of you all know or many of you already call me a bit of a stationery geek but i partnered with um a really nice company called spotlight stationery recently oh penny's joined me hello penny um Spotlight Stationery, who do subscription boxes and uh, gift boxes for stationery. Uh, very kindly sent me a couple of their examples and I promised that I would um, unbox one of them. One of their really, I think, unique um, selections uh, on a live video, just so you get my initial reaction. So I've got it next to me here. I think it's not that one. It's not that one. It's this one here. Um, and it comes in a letterbox friendly box, which for me is the most important um, important part of receiving subscriptions. Because if you're not in, you work full time, postman comes at half eleven in the morning, you don't want to be traipsing up and down to the post office to collect your uh, stationery couple of days later at the weekend or anything like that so having something that fits perfectly through the letterbox is um, most important to me now this box did arrive like this luckily it's not damaged anything in transit however that is the post office so I would say that this is not spotlight stationery's fault because I've got two of the boxes here and they've arrived in perfect condition so that is just unfortunate um, and uh, is something that you know um, like I say it's not damaged anything inside so under normal circumstances as I'm sure you know oh hang on <laughs> Penny's just said so totally agree um, or do you need a postman that's prepared to hide things for you I haven't got a front garden and there's no access to my back garden either so there is absolutely nowhere here that anybody could hide anything um, they'd always have to go and bother a neighbour or um, you know, so I'd like to take it back to the post office. So that's why, again, letterbox friendly packaging is perfect for me. So, stationery boxes, what do you normally get? Well, in these two examples here, one of them was, um, this was the December box, and it was a black and gold theme, and I absolutely adore this. I've done flat lays of these two boxes on my Instagram already. But when you open the box, it was really nicely wrapped in tissue paper, You've got um, a little sheet which told you all about the items that were in the box and it details all the companies so you can look them up online or you can look them up on Instagram and it tells you exactly what you should have received in the box. This one tell oh sorry that was the texture finish box which was this one, this was the black and gold theme um, and in this one, I mean this was the Christmas one, the December one. And I think that this one was a very much a luxury item. It's uh, the Castelli notebook and you've got a gold pen with it. You've got a um, pen I'm using in my bullet journal at the moment. You've got this uh, um, fountain pen tile pen. And you also got um, a retractable gel pen from Zebra and a woodless solid graphite gold pencil, oh, which is that one in there from, I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly, so I'm sorry, um, Koyanar Hardtumpf, and um, you always get four postcards um, from young and up and coming designers. So this is a great way for people who are into design um, to actually promote their work. So you get little things like this, and they are proper postcards, so they are really usable. These beautiful designs from designers and there's always a cover card with them that tells you who the designer is their Etsy accounts their Instagram accounts and things like that so I'm really 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 pleased with everything that I'm getting already from Spotlight Station so that was the December box my beautiful pen that I'm using at the moment um, the January box was a textures box and um, this was this included this notebook here which I'm actually using at the moment. Oh, other people have joined me, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Penny's saying, no, you need a retired neighbour to bring in your parcels. Hi, Cara. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Daniela. Um, so this is from Paper O and the textured box, both of the notebooks. So there was two notebooks 
in the textured one. So this one's like corrugated cardboard. It's absolutely beautiful. The only thing is, it is plain paper inside. And it's very, very good quality paper. Um, it holds fountain pen very, very well. But I'm not a sketcher and I'm not a doodler, so I'm going to have to find a use for this. I actually want to take the cover off and just wrap it, in something, wrap it over something else. But really, really nice, really, really textures. And it's got this beautiful little slight red inside cover as well. So you can actually see through that um, and you've got this one which has got a slight texture these um the red is behind the black so you've got the texture there and this was just a very um this is a graph paper again very good quality paper and i'm using this now as my bullet journal so i'm not going to show you inside of this next week's video is going to be all about my bullet journaling and how i keep it very plain and simple i would love to be arty but I keep it very, very plain and simple. Um, as you can see, there's no actual drawings in there at all. So I'll save that for next week. And then what else was in the box was um, another zebra pen, pencil, which is like triangular in shape. Can you see that? I think it's really, um, really difficult to see that, but it's triangular in shape. And it's, again, it's got a textured barrel, got a very useful bookmark. Um, these little envelopes, which always really cool news. I always use these for like little unusual gifts or little cards to send to people and there was the four postcards in there as well which I have, I'm sure I've got away somewhere actually but again that was that one but the purpose of today is to unbox this one now as I say this one's different this one doesn't have any notebooks in it, it doesn't have any pens in it um, it was one I think was um, a bit of a tryout, or it was the first time that they've done it and I'm just looking at my screen here because I've got some information about this this is their letterpress box so it's very much concentrating on notelets and um, note cards and envelopes and things like that which is really coincidental because I wrote about handwriting on National Handwriting Day and how I believe that the reintroduction or the re-emergence of the bullet journal since BuzzFeed got their hands on it has encouraged people to pick up a pen and start actually writing again. Um, I just find it, um, you know, enthusiastic. I'm very enthusiastic about people writing and I think we should all really try to um, pick up a pen and write rather than, you know, just rely on the keyboard or doing this with our thumbs. You know, it's just like embrace the fact that everybody's hand your handwriting is like a fingerprint to me it's very individual so in this box it says it's a collection of letterpress stationery printed on uh, heidelberg platens press dating from the 1870s the set comprises of two sets of five note cards with tissue lined envelopes hand stitched a6 notebook oh sorry my mistake there is a notebook in it with a wraparound cover small greetings cards gift tags and again for exclusive illustrated postcards so it comes wrapped in tissue paper like this with the spotlight stationery uh, sticker on the front of it and um, you just open it up and it always comes straight away I know everything's backwards so I'm sorry you can't read it but it comes with your information sheet straight on top and here it says indulge your passion for stationery printed across the top of the box so it says with the letterpress letter this is a theme we've been playing planning for some time as part of our efforts to support artists and stationery producers we've been looking for the right supplier but when we met the owners of Ledbury Letterpress at Christmas fair last year we stopped looking and then it goes on to explain the story behind um, the collaboration so using a mixture of antique printed blocks and new engravings the contents of this month's box show the versatility of this traditional printing method as ever Included is a set of postcards featuring the work of young, talented illustrators. And then it does say at the bottom, and I think this is at the bottom of every single one. There is always a, a charity that's supported. So the purchase of this stationery box includes a donation this month to Gloucester Young Carers, a charity which provides a range of services for young carers and their families. And then the other charities that have been supported have been National Star, and I'll find out who the other one is. So. So I've got a little envelope with my name on it. Now, I can't guarantee that your name will be, it, it will be personalised that much, but you will get an envelope with your postcards in. So the four postcards this month, there's your teaser. And 
as I say, they've got the four beautiful illustrations from the Young Designers. Sorry, that's upside down. Um, I like that one. I think that's really cute with the turtles. And pizza! So all the details are usually on there. Now what I'll do is I'll flat lay this on my Instagram again and I'll tag as many people as I can. So watch out for that at uh, later on this evening probably. So those are your four postcards. Then there was this um, notelet, which actually works on this screen because it's um, the same forwards as backwards. So this is a wow card. Um, and it's ever so slightly raised. You know, you can tell it's been pressed onto the um, onto the paper itself, and it does have the uh, Ledbury Letterpress logo on the back. Um, maybe you could turn it the other way up for Mother's Day. I don't know, just a suggestion. But uh, yeah, that comes with its own little envelope. Um, then we've got the two sets of um, five note cards with tissue lined paper. So. There's a blue set and there's a red set. So I'll open these up. You see, the thing is, I like that. What I like about stationery boxes is that you get to try out stuff that you wouldn't normally buy for yourself. But also, when it comes individually wrapped like this, you can actually put it away and use it as a gift for a friend or something like that. So um, yes, yeah, so you've got your little note cards. They open up. Okay, so you've got your little note cards. And you've got these tissue lined envelopes which are really soft so they're absolutely amazing quality they are absolutely beautiful so you know those are really good quality I suppose if you're having a function birthday or you know wedding or something you could get this gives you an opportunity to try something out um, and as I say so there's two sets of those then there is the individually printed gift cards so we've got ducks oh three ducks we've got um pot of honey and um a beehive so they're pretty cute for the spring and finally you've got your little notebook with the wraparound cover now that's extremely thick obviously that's the bit that's letter pressed is the cover um, and the notebook itself has actually got a bit to write um you know just like write your name or contact details if you lose it and then it, again it's just plain paper i'll say it uh, oh it's in it's uh it's been stitch bound i'll say it again i'm not a huge fan of plain paper but for anybody that's into doodling or sketching these little notebooks are invaluable i do appreciate that um and then there is um just another hand printed a note about how they've hand printed everything so i do appreciate that that isn't your normal stationery box i'm very impressed by the quality of the paper that's used and the items that are in here and it, as i say it gives me a chance to try out things i wouldn't normally go out and buy each of the stationery boxes so regardless of the month each of the stationery boxes is 25 pound now that for me is an average price for a stationery box i will say stationery boxes range between 15 and 30 pound um and the ones at the lower end of the range tend not to be but it, or they'll have cheaper items in that break very easily or are very good quality and a lot of the money goes into more more it's more about the packaging and just getting something every month um i would say they're possibly aimed at children as well but this type of thing it's very adult it's very um you know very luxurious um and the things like this black and gold thing that we that we had in the december box there is um a notebook stationery selection on the website so you can try this out in the stationery box and you can nip over to the website and you can see what gift sets they have available and possibly spend a little bit more money once you've tried out and you know that you're going to actually like that item um so again like i say this is why i'm a huge fan um i don't know it's any, if there's any questions just let me know because i'm happy to answer them um and i do appreciate as well that 25 quid is probably a lot of money for some people um but when you sort of like put that against a couple of bottles of wine or a night out or you know a few bars of chocolate in the week or something like that you're getting something that is, is useful it's practical it gives you the opportunity to try something or again as i mentioned before you can put these away and give them as gifts 
um, then you, when you offset that cost, I think it's, it ends up becoming very good value for money. Now, stationery, uh, Spotlight Stationery have given me um, a discount code for you to use. Now, these are massive in America. I don't find us in the UK using discount codes all that much, and I think it's something that we should we should do more, you know, try out. So I've got a 15% discount code, which is really generous, I think, because normally it's only usually 5 or 10%. Um, so 15% discount code. So if you go on Spotlight Stationery website, which is spotlightstationery.co.uk, in their shop, you can use my code, which is um, Nikki15, N-I-C-K-I-E-1-5, for the 15% uh, discount. Um, so you can go onto their website, use that discount, and you can use it for any of the items in the shop. And also a, ooh, let me just double check what the subscription, you can use it for the subscription. It is valid for a monthly or a bi-monthly subscription as well. If you wanted to do the three or the six month subscription, which means you would get one box for one box a month for three months or one box a month for six months, you can't use my code because that is already um, it's already been reduced in price. So, that, I mean, that's fair enough. I accept that. Um, so, yeah, anything in the shop and a monthly or bi-monthly subscription box. Even if, so if you just wanted to try it out, 25 quid, get your 15% discount off. And I'm going to try and work that out in my head. I promise you I didn't do this beforehand. So if somebody wants to type up how much 15% of 25 quid is. Um, right, so 10% is £2.50, £1.20. So you get £3.75 off. Um, which isn't too bad, you know, just over 20 quid. Give yourself a treat this month. Um, so yeah, so hope you enjoyed that little. I promise I won't waffle on for ages. What, what have we been? Oh, 15 minutes maybe. I don't know, but um, yeah, so if you enjoyed that, let me know. Um, I'm going to be doing a video a week, and you know what my blog's like. It's a bit all over the place. So one week it'll be all about fitness and fit bitches. One week it'll be about stationery. I might do something about crafting one week. I mean, I've just finished this blanket here at the background. And um, I'd love to be able to show off some of the stuff that I make. Um, and then another week it might just be a general chit chat. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so next week um, I've had a number of people uh, wanting to know what the inside of my bullet journal is like. And I have had, I don't know how many notebooks recently. Um, that I've been using as a bullet journal sticking with this one for the time being because it's I've planned it out for six months and I know you shouldn't plan a bullet journal in advance but there you go um, so if you want to look inside my bullet journal you can come and join in next week next Tuesday and that's what I'll be doing so uh, yeah I think I'll keep this one nice and short go and have a look at spotlight stationery and um, see if there's anything in the shop there that you like have a chat with them on social media as well they're really really interactive um and uh, it's mary that runs the, uh, the i think owns the company runs the accounts and everything she's she does more or less everything herself so go and say hi to her tell her i sent you along and don't forget to use that discount code as well nikki 15 so thank you very much i'll see you all again soon bye for now mm -hmm.